Supporting. Caring. Making a difference. The charity, formerly named the Hospice of Our Lady and St. John, now more widely known as Willen Hospice, was established in 1975 as a result of the foresight of a local GP and a district nurse, Marjorie Reed and Dorothy Jell. The hospice is situated on the north bank of Willen Lake and is close to the famous church designed by Robert Hooke, which is in turn built on the site of the 13th century parish church. The hospice has provided care free of charge in a relaxed, informal, yet professional atmosphere. The modern 20-bed inpatient facility provides care for people over the age of 18 suffering from life-limiting illnesses. You've got more time to do what you should be doing anyway as a nurse. You get more time to care. And if you spend half an hour talking to a patient, it's not frowned upon, it's encouraged because you're there to look after the patient totally, not just give the medicines or give an injection, but you're there to look after them as a whole and to be part of their lives while they're in here. Oh, it's so difficult. <laughs> Many patients attend the day hospice facility where they come for clinical support, a little relaxation, to meet other patients, and to enjoy a good home-cooked lunch. If they wish, they can get involved in all kinds of leisure activities from painting to batik. Others find it a relief just to talk with professional carers and other patients. Often our patients choose to be discharged in order to receive care at home, where they will receive regular visits from the hospice-based community nursing teams. Our care involves meeting the total needs of the patient. This can include physical, social, emotional and spiritual care. Whilst others are simply encouraged to talk over their problems in an informal atmosphere. Do you feel that you've been involved in this care as much as you want to be while you're here? Willen Hospice serves a wide catchment area from Buckingham in the west to Toaster and Olney in the north Milton Keynes and down to Leighton Buzzard in the south. A large band of enthusiastic, loyal volunteers and friends support the work of the hospice, both financially and practically. Throughout the year, there is a full programme of hospice and community organised fundraising activity. Name the comic strip that features Charlie Brown and Snoopy, the first debuted today in 1952 in the US Sunday papers. Local businesses and charitable trusts also pay their part. Not forgetting, of course, our charity shops, which are supported by our rota of willing helpers. The hospice has modern care facilities and, as one might expect, there is a continuous financial demand. You may like to spare a few hours a week to help support our work, or you may feel that you can help in a fundraising project if you haven't yet visited the hospice, please make an appointment to come and see what we do and witness at first hand the difference we can make to the quality of the lives of our patients and their families. Perhaps you might like to consider what we may be able to do together. Please help us to continue this much needed care.